Hello my friends, here we are on Luminar Neo and today we are going to edit this image. This is a raw image I took this morning at uh, Wolf's Neck Park and Freeport, Maine. And let's go into our tools. As you can see, it says develop ROM. There, I made no edits whatsoever to this image, just straight from the camera. And it looks pretty underexposed. That's because I did this on purpose. I wanted to retain as much color into the sky where the sunrise was happening. So let's see how we would edit this photo. First, I can see my horizon, it's a little bit crooked. So I am just going to do a horizon alignment and that looks good to me now. I'm going to accept that. Next, I will start with the develop. And here, I do not want to increase the exposure, but maybe I will increase, decrease the highlights a little bit, just a little bit, not much. And then open up the shadows Let's see, that's way too much. Maybe just something, something like that. That looks good to me. Let's see what we can do next. Next, we are going to add just a very slight S-curve, just to give it a little bit more contrast, not too much, very, very slight. Something like that. We're moving on into uh, color. And here I want to, let's see, I want to change the white balance and let's see, daylight gives me more blue, but it still has some of the color, cloudy, that makes it a little bit too warm. No, none of these are going to work. I'm going to keep it as shot. You know what, maybe I'll change it to daylight. I do kind of like to have the blue and the orange. It gives it a little bit more contrast, if you will. So I'll go with that. But maybe it's a little bit too blue, so I'm just gonna increase the temperature a tiny little bit. Let's see. Let's see this before and after. Before and after. All right, so far so good. Let's see, what else? We are done with the develop, and now I want to apply a little bit of enhance, not too much, just a little bit. And then, are we going to go to color? And here I'm going to work in the HSL. And first, I'm going to increase the vibrance just a little bit. That looks good to me. And then I'm going to take the yellows just a little bit towards orange, the orange a little bit towards red. Move, just shift a little bit, everything to the left. And that looks good. I want to go onto the saturation and I'm going to increase the saturation of the yellow a little bit, a little bit of the orange and the red, not too much. But then I want to decrease the cyans and the blues a little bit. Although I like the blues, I feel like they're a little bit too overpowering. So maybe something like that. Let's see. This is the before and after, before and after. And I think that looks good. We are done with the color. Let's move down. We're gonna go to landscape. And one of my favorite sliders on landscape is golden hour. So I'm going to add a little bit of golden hour. Just a little bit, not too much. You see, if you go all the way, you're gonna ruin the photo. So just a little bit, just to accentuate those colors in the sky. And we are done with landscape. Let's move on. We can go to toning. And let's see. Maybe add a little bit more warmth into the highlights. So for that, I am going to increase the amount, put the saturation all the way to 100 so I can see what I'm working with. And I'll pick like an orangey tone and then decrease the saturation, just add a little bit into the highlights. And that is the before and after. Before and after. Can't even see it. Very, very subtle. Let's move on. I want to remove this sign over here. I don't really want that in there. So I will go to Erase and then I will paint it off and click Erase. And there you go, now it's gone. So we are done with that. 
maybe we want to add just a little bit of structure into the rocks. We do not want to add it all over because I do not want to sharpen the skies or the water. So where is our structure? Over here, we're going to increase the amount just a little bit, not too much. And then with the brush, nice soft brush, I'm just going to paint some onto these rocks, maybe into these rocks as well. And that looks good to me. All right, I can't make up my mind if I like this branch over here or do I want to erase it. Somehow I feel like maybe it's kind of framing the colorful sky because I have something on both sides. But then on the other hand, I feel like it's just kind of, it shouldn't be there. Like you don't see the rest of the tree, just that branch. So I'm not sure about that. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. So let's see. I feel like maybe I should leave it because everything it's kind of like right heavy. Like I have so much in the right, but then there would be nothing on the left. So I will leave it. I do want to smooth in the water a little bit here because it just, it just doesn't look that great when it's so sharp. So how can we do that? I will go to structure, but this time I will put negative structure to soften it. And then with a brush tool, I will just paint it onto the water. So it's not everywhere, but I will soften this water. Just these parts over here. And let's see now. This is our before and after. Before and after. Just a little bit, not too much. I'm not sure why these birds are here in the water, but I was hearing a lot of loons, so I'm thinking maybe they were loons, but I'm not sure. They were a little bit too far, and it was pretty dark when I got there. This was, by the way, this photo was taken about 30 minutes before sunrise. I was waiting for the beautiful sunrise, but then it never really happened because it got very cloudy, and the clouds came down and covered the light, so it got gray and not so nice. All right, we're done with structure. Let's see, what else can we do? I feel like maybe the shadows are still a little bit too dark, so I'm gonna go back into develop and I'm gonna open them just a little bit more, not too much. Let's see, maybe something like that, but then I'll bring down the blacks a little bit. Now I wanna bring the attention more over here in the sky. I feel like I need to make a little bit of brighter spot. So the way I would do that is I will increase the exposure a little bit uh, maybe I will go to the curve and add a little bit of red to it. Not too much, just a little bit. Maybe a little, a little bit of yellow to make it more orange. And let's see. Something like that. And now I will paint it just in the center. Nice large brush. Just paint it over here. Not everywhere, just a little bit in the center. And this is the before and after. Before and after, that's too much. So we're gonna erase 50% of it. All right, let's see now. Before and after, before and after. And I like that. Let's see the whole image. We started with this and now we are before and after. Now looking at it, it's a little bit too saturated. I went a little bit too far. So I'm just gonna go and take the saturation down a little bit, something like that. And then maybe add a little bit of mystical. I feel like that would be nice. Give it a little bit more contrast make everything a little bit more painterly. Not too much, just a little bit. So let's see now, this is our before and after. Before and after. Before and after. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I will see you in my next video.